Hello, hello. I'm Laya. Welcome to this mellow yoga flow to feel good. I like to start the day with an intentional yoga practice that's mellow and that helps me feel good in my body and energetically. I'm an accessible yoga educator as well as a wellness facilitator and a writer. And I like to create accessible spaces where we can come together and practice tools and resources to just live a more aligned lifestyle. And that means that I hope that you do what you can and what you want in your practice. That is one of the joys of practicing online, I believe, is that it gives you even more autonomy because I think sometimes, let me know if, if you resonate with this or not, in physical spaces where we practice yoga and wellness practices, there's, even if it's like the slightest amount of kind of pressure to perform, right? Because there's people next to us and sometimes we may feel like if we're not doing what the person next to us is doing or exactly what the teacher is cueing, then we're just not doing enough and we're not good enough and blah, 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 right? If you're in the US, especially in the North, probably colors are starting to change. Nature is, is starting to shed leaves. And it's, I think, a wonderful time to realign with a wellness routine. For me, my morning routine is pretty solid. I journal every morning and I meditate and then I'm trying really hard to get on my mat every day consistently. That's something that's been hard the last couple of months. So in this practice today, I invite you to consider some of the things that make you feel good. And what that means to you is also absolutely up to you. What does feeling good mean to you? Yeah. I'm just here to give you suggestions, ideas, to be in community, to love a little bit on one another. And if you're just here and you're breathing and just taking some time to look out your window, that's great. If you are starting to get ready for your day and you're just listening to this in the background and perhaps you join a couple of the stretches while you're making breakfast or whatever, that's great. If you're here to be fully in the practice for 30 minutes, that's also great. There's zero judgment. Any judgment that's being thrown out there is coming from yourself. So I invite you to let it go, even if it's just for this one breath now. What I have today for the practice is fairly simple. I have my yoga mat and I also have two blocks. If you have blocks, they are a great prop to use. If you don't have blocks, you're gonna be absolutely fine for this practice. I will be giving you different options, different suggestions, so that you can do with this time what you need. Listen to your body and do no more, no less. Another thing that you could have handy is a little bit of water. I'm taking a sip now because I know I will forget during practice. Perhaps you also want to make the space a little cozier for yourself. And that could mean maybe you play some music or burn some incense. Or if you like essential oils, maybe you get a dot of essential oil on your wrist and you dab it. You know, just make the space where you are even comfier, even cozier. So bring yourself to a comfortable seat and you could sit cross-legged. You could keep one leg extended and the other one bent. Another way to make yourself a little comfier in a seat is by grabbing a block or maybe a pillow and you can sit on it on the edge. And that sometimes allows the pelvis to settle a little bit more and for your spine to lengthen. Let your hands rest on your lap or your knees. And I invite you now to move your head from side to side for a moment looking over your right shoulder and your left. And then also look up and down. And eventually bring your neck to neutral, ground through your sitting bones, lengthen your spine, and perhaps you soften your gaze or close your eyes as you arrive into this practice. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through the nose or the mouth. Again, inhale. Exhale. If you'd like to connect to the breath even more, perhaps you bring your hands to your abdomen. Inhale, notice the expansion of the belly. Exhale, notice the softening and the gentle contraction inward and toward the midline. 
Let yourself be here just for a few more breaths. Connecting to the expansion and the contraction, the ebb and the flow, the receiving and the giving. Let the sounds around you be the sounds around you without needing to know where they come from or why they're there. Notice the temperature of the environment that you're in. But start to draw your attention closer and closer to yourself. Noticing the edges of your body where your physical manifestation begins. Perhaps you notice the clothes that you're wearing, the sensations on your skin, and the sensations in your physical body. And perhaps you are quick to notice discomfort, tightness, or painful areas. That's absolutely okay. It's there. Acknowledge it. But also acknowledge any areas of your body that feel particularly good today. Relaxed, or open, or mellow. The spaces where you can gently breathe into and find a little more spaciousness. Becoming aware of all of you as much as you possibly can. Take a deep breath in through your nose, letting it expand a little bit more front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Open your mouth and slowly let the breath go. Softening into the seat you're in, into the moment, into the practice. If your hands are on your abdomen, perhaps you release them down. Let your shoulder, shoulders relax a little bit more and your neck lengthen even more. Notice if you're slouching, perhaps you let yourself take a little bit more of a noble seat. Take pride in who you are right here, right now, just as you feel, just as you are. And I invite you to set an intention for your practice, maybe for your day or for your week. Considering the energies that you want to invite more into your life that you want to explore, embody, lean into. Or maybe for you it's more about something you are ready to release, let go of, put aside. And just exploring this space after you put the weight down. Maybe it's a word that becomes prevalent or a small sentence or affirmation or quote. Let this intention just be a seed that you plant and that then you can play with and explore and that it will evolve with you. Take a deep inhalation. And this time as you exhale, maybe you make a little bit of sound. Ha. Let your toes and your fingers begin to wiggle. Let your neck gently move from side to side. Breathe in. Breathe out.
bring your neck back to neutral, ground through your sitting bones and on your next inhalation, start to reach your arms out and up, unite your palms overhead and on your exhalation draw your hands together in front of your heart and then all the way down. Do that two more times, inhale, reach your arms out and up, move slowly as if you were moving through honey. Reach all the way through the fingertips as the palms unite. Exhale, draw your fingertips together in front of the heart and then release your arms down to the sides. One more, breathe in, follow your own rhythm. Breathe out. Release your fingertips to the ground behind you. If you're sitting on a block or a pillow, perhaps you move it to the side now. And walk your hands as far back as you need. Perhaps you keep your legs crossed as they are. Maybe you switch the cross if you've been sitting the same way for a while. Press through your palms and lift your chest. Perhaps you also lift your hips up, opening a little bit more through the front body. Deep breath in. And on the exhalation, if you lifted your hips, lower them down. Walk your hands a little bit closer toward you again. Inhale, reach your arms up. This time as you do so, move your wrists in circles. You could make fists with your hands or keep your hands loose. And on the exhalation, switch the circles as you bring your arms back out and down. Flip your palms up. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, draw your palms together in front of your heart. And bring your hands to the floor in front of you or if you have a block maybe you bring a block in front of you and let your hands slide forward or maybe the block slide forward maybe your elbows come down to the floor or to the block and you relax your head just for a moment or if you rather you could let yourself sway right and left again just noticing if it's mobilization that you need or maybe stillness and it's not always the first instinct that arises. Just consider what would bring you to a little bit more balance and harmony as you enter your week, your day. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let yourself slowly come back up. Take your arms out and up. Deep breath in. And on the exhalation, bring your hands behind you. And as you do so, lean back enough to bring your feet in front of you on the ground. And for a moment, you can move your knees from side to side like windshield wipers. Or perhaps you'd rather shake them. Just consider what movement would feel good for your legs right now. Breathe in. And breathe out. Pause at the center. Align your feet with your hips and a little bit underneath the knees, but not necessarily all the way in. And bring your hands behind you. Your fingertips could face toward your toes or you could dial them back until you feel like you have space for your shoulders. Yeah. Press through your feet, press through your hands and lift your chest. Breathe in. Remain here or if you want to start to lift your hips up any amount, keep your gaze forward. Maybe your hips lift as high as your knees. And if that's the case, then perhaps your head goes back also to create a line. No further. Inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly lower your hips down toward the ground. Draw the soles of your feet toward one another. They don't necessarily need to touch. And you could keep your hands behind you, lifting your chest. You could also bring your hands to your knees or your shins. Lift your chest up a little bit more. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, leading with your chest, lower forward and down. Last thing to lower is your head. Do that two more times. Inhale, slowly rise. Last thing to lift up is the head. Exhale, bring yourself down, down, down. One more, inhale to rise. Exhale to melt down, let your head relax. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, lift your chest. Lean back a little bit and sway your legs to either side to bring yourself toward a tabletop position, hands and knees. Now, if your knees are sensitive, you can always bring a blanket or a towel underneath, or you could pinch your, your mat here and triple fold it and then place your knees there. If your wrists are sensitive, I invite you to make fists instead of planting your hands firmly on the floor. Either way, find a little bit of stability in the shape here. Draw your belly button in and up for a moment here. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhalation, start to lift your tailbone, dip your belly and look forward or up. And on the exhalation, round your spine and gaze down toward the navel. 
Two more like that at your own pace. Inhale to open the front of the body. Exhale to round. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Bring your spine to neutral as you inhale. Exhale, tuck your toes under, send your hips back toward the heels until you feel enough sensation, perhaps through the feet, perhaps through the thighs. Your hands could remain on the floor. Your hands could climb up toward the thighs as you lift your chest up. Either way, take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose or the mouth. And if you find discomfort here, this is a great place to notice what your capacity for discomfort is right now. How can you use this knowledge as you move forward in your day? Breathe in. Breathe out slowly. Bring your hands forward again. Lift your toes off the floor and either tap the tops of the feet to the floor or roll your ankles one way. Breathe in. And the other as you breathe out. Lower your toes to the ground. Maybe slide your knees a little further back and your chest a little bit forward. Inhale. And on your exhalation, bend your elbows straight back and lower yourself down to your abdomen. Bring your hands wider than your mat, coming up to your fingertips, and lift your elbows up toward the ceiling. Press down through the tops of the feet, press down through the front of the legs, and you could stay here, or in your inhalation, engage the back body and slowly lift your chest. Last thing to lift is your head. Exhale, wave down. Two more like that. Inhale, slowly lift. Exhale to lower. One more, inhale. Exhale as you lower, take your right ear down. Right shoulder goes forward. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left ear down, left shoulder goes forward. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lower down. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead down and stay here for a breath or two. Maybe bending your knees and wiggling your legs from side to side, like windshield wipers, or maybe you crisscross your legs. Deep inhalation. Long, slow exhalation. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press through your palms, and squeeze your elbows straight back. And on your inhalation, lift your chest for cobra. Exhale, press your hips back, big toes together, knees wide. Send your hips back toward the heels as little or as much as you want. Walk your hands toward your knees, walk your knees toward one another. And you can stay seated on the heels or on a block, or perhaps you lift your hips off the heels. Inhale, take your arms out and up. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart and either stay up or lower down. Inhale, lift your arms out and up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart, maybe lower your hips, maybe keep them up. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands to the ground in front of you. Shift your weight forward to tabletop and stay here. Or maybe tuck your toes and send your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Bringing your feet about hips distance apart and creating an inverted V position with your body. Your knees can remain as bent as you want. Feel free to pedal out your legs if you're in downward dog or move your spine in any way you want if you are in tabletop. One more breath wherever you find yourself. Inhale. And exhale. Whether you're in tabletop or downward facing dog, on your next inhalation, take your right leg behind you. And as you exhale, draw your right knee toward your chest. And perhaps with the help of your right hand, you take your right foot between the hands. You could grab the ankle or maybe it steps there on its own. If you have blocks, great place to frame your right foot with the blocks and slowly lift your chest up. You could stay here with your hands on your blocks, drawing your right hip back and your left hip gently forward. Or on your next inhalation, take your arms out and up, palms unite overhead. Exhale, draw your hands together in front of your heart. Keep your chest lifted here, breathe in. And as you breathe out, take a gentle twist toward the right, keeping your spine long. 
you could stay there or maybe you take your left elbow to the top of your right knee or maybe to the outside of the right knee creating a little bit more leverage and deepening the twist just a bit one more breath keep pressing through the ball of your right foot inhale exhale bring your gaze forward bring your arms back up deep breath in exhale bring your hands down to your blocks or to the floor framing your right leg and now start to hinge at the hips and extend your right leg any amount for some folks it may require you to slide your right heel forward a bit more and then again create traction with your right heel back and your left hip forward how extended your right leg is is up to you if you flex or point your right foot is also up to you breathe in breathe out plant your right foot back onto the floor send your hips forwards inhale exhale take your right leg next to the left find your tabletop or maybe you find your downward dog it's absolutely your choice breathe in deeply breathe out completely one more breath inhale and exhale whether you're in tabletop or down dog on your inhalation lift your left leg and on the exhalation draw your left knee toward your chest and then step your left foot between your hands. If your right knee is off the floor, lower it down. Take a moment to frame your right foot, or your left foot rather, with both hands, or maybe with both blocks. Let yourself stay here, or maybe on the next inhalation, take your arms out and up, palms unite overhead. And on the exhalation, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Lift your chest up as you breathe in. And keeping your torso lifted, start a twist toward the left side. Draw your thighs toward one another. Draw your belly button in. Maybe stay. Inhale. And as you exhale, maybe your right elbow touches your left knee. Or maybe you hook it on the outside of the knee. And then press to twist a bit more. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. Take your gaze forward, lift your arms back up, breathe in. Breathe out, frame your left foot with your hands or your blocks, hinge at the hips, left hip stacks or right hip stacks over the right knee. And then extend your left leg as little or as much as feels good. Maybe you slide your left heel forward a bit more to create more traction and more sensation. Keep your spine long. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Shift forward, plant your left foot. Inhale, take your arms out and up if you want to, not mandatory. Exhale, frame your left foot again. Take your left leg back to meet your right. Maybe you find your tabletop, maybe you find your downward facing dog. Either way, on your next inhalation, shift your weight forward to a plank or a knee plank. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest, and your chin to the ground. Flatten down to the floor, hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, as you bring your hips back, big toes together and knees wide. Send your hips back toward the heels. As you do this, start to cross your right arm over the left and take your chin down toward your right arm. You don't have to go all the way down by any means. Just go where it feels good. You can stay here or on your next inhalation, keeping your arms crossed, lift your torso up. Draw your knees gently toward one another and your hands could come toward opposite shoulders. Or you can bring your arms to eagle, bringing the backs of the hands or the palms of the hands to touch. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release your arms, stay seated on the heels or not. Inhale, lift away from the heels if you want to. Arms out and up. Exhale, slowly come back down. Draw your toes toward one another. Take your knees wide and this time, your left arm goes over the right as you come down, down and forward. One more breath. Stay here or again, lift yourself up, keeping the arms crossed. Draw the knees toward one another and either hands toward opposite shoulders or hands toward one another for eagle arms. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. 
and exhale. Release your arms, inhale, lift your hips away from the heels, take your arms out and up. Exhale, slowly bring yourself all the way back down. Draw the knees wide, send your arms forward, find the child's pose again and either lower your forehead to the floor or maybe to a block. And just give yourself some time here to settle, to notice how you feel and to once again just check in with your intention. One more deep breath in and out. Slowly press yourself back up. And from tabletop or from downward facing dog, your choice, start to step to the top of your mat, bringing your feet parallel to one another. Maybe your hands are on the floor, your blocks, your shins, your thighs, it's up to you. Inhale, flat back. And on your exhalation, let yourself fold forward. Bend the knees enough that your belly can rest toward the thighs and your upper body can cascade over the legs. Maybe you sway yourself back and forth a couple times or side to side, breathe in, breathe out. Press through your feet, inhale, rise up. Take your arms all the way out and up, palms unite overhead. Exhale, draw your hands together in front of your heart and then release them to the sides. Take a big step with either foot so that you're turning to the long side of the mat, maybe facing me, yeah? And then turn your toes out and your heels slightly in. Press down through the feet, inhale. And as you exhale, let your knees bend. Bring your hands, slide them down toward the thighs or the knees and maybe let yourself move a little side to side. Inhale. And exhale. Press down through the feet, extend your legs, extend your arms to the sides, inhale. And on your exhalation, bring your hands in front of your heart and turn your uh, right toes toward the short edge of the mat. Open your arms wide, breathe in, breathe out, bend into your right knee. You can stay here or as you inhale, take your arms up. And as you exhale, surrender your hands to our opposite elbows, lengthen even more through the chest, inhale. And as you exhale, maybe lean back a little bit. You could stay or release the arms. So your left arm rests on your left leg and your right arm extends a bit more. You could keep bending into your right knee or maybe you stretch it. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring your arms to the horizon, lift your torso. Now turn your right toes to the long side of the mat and turn your left toes toward the short edge of the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out, bend into your left knee. Stay here or as you inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, surrender your hands to our opposite elbows, lifting your chest a bit more. Stay, inhale. Exhale, stay or lean back a little bit. You can keep your hands supported or maybe your right hand is now on your right leg and your left arm is stretched up. Maybe your left leg stretches too on the next inhalation. One more deep breath in and out. Bring your torso back to neutral. Bring your arms to the horizon. Turn all 10 toes to the long side of the mat. Inhale. And on the exhalation, bring your arms behind you. You could catch opposite wrist or opposite elbows. You could also interlace your hands and bring the heels of the hands together, your wrists. Inhale, lift your chest. And on the exhalation, lower halfway down at first. Let yourself stay here, pressing to the outer edges of the feet energizing through your legs, energizing through your spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, maybe you continue forward and down if that serves you. Let your head relax, let your weight shift a little bit more toward your toes. And perhaps, especially if your hands are interlaced, you could keep your hands closer to your sitting bones or lift them up, 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 up toward the shoulders, toward the head. One more breath here, inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly release your hands in front of you. Lift your chest halfway. Your hands could be on a block or the floor in front. And on your exhalation, heel toe your feet. And you have several choices here. You can turn your toes out and your heels in and lower your hips down, coming into a yogi squat. You could also bring your feet a little bit closer and keep your heels off the floor. You could also bring your heels together and then draw the knees out. 
yeah great place to use your blocks here in front of you also great place to be playful sometimes when we want to feel good we have to get out of our head and let ourselves just be a little bit silly so maybe you consider taking one hand off or taking both hands off the hands could rest on your knees if you want to get even more playful you could close one eye or both see what happens considering that falling and failing if you will they're just part of the process depends on how much importance you give it one more breath inhale and on your exhalation, however you want to, let your bum go back. Let yourself find a seat. Sway your legs from side to side or shake them out. And I invite you now to choose if you want to bring yourself to a lying down position. Or maybe you'd rather find a seat as we close the session. Let your spine lengthen. Let your neck move, let yourself stretch. What final movements would you like to do, whether you choose to sit or lie down? Lying down will invite a more calming energy. Sitting will keep you a little bit more alert and awake. So choose what you need, what you want. Let any last wiggles move out of the body. And as you settle into the last few moments of this practice, truly let yourself rest in the same way that you let yourself move. Let yourself feel what is without any need to do or change or improve or adjust. Just be. If you have extra time today, I invite you to stay in stillness for a few more minutes, letting yourself truly feel the effects and the reverberation of the practice in your body, your mind, your energy. If it's time for you to get moving with your day, take one last breath in stillness, recognizing that you are completely worthy just as you are. Breathe in. Let go. Start to bring movement back into your body. Moving your fingers, your toes, move your neck. Let yourself stretch out. If you're seated, take a few breaths to let yourself rise. If you've been seated in the same way for a while, maybe you switch how you're seated. Let your hands rest on your lap or your knees. And I invite you now to join me in prana apana, which is just a simple breath work and will simplify the hand gesture as well. So as you inhale, you'll just flip your palms up. And as you exhale, flip them down. Inhale, flip your palms up. Exhale, flip them down. Two more at your own pace. Next time your palms are flipped down and you exhale, release the practice. Feel free to remain here, or maybe you bring one hand to your abdomen, one hand to your heart. Connecting to yourself just a bit more. Recognizing how you feel. Any shifts in energy. 
any shifts at all after you've intentionally spent some time in your body, in this moment. Perhaps you reinstate your intention. Perhaps you release it if it served its purpose. But I invite you to join me in a moment of gratitude for all that you are, all that you've been, or that you will be. For all the lessons. So repeat within or without in whatever language resonates with you most. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep, deep inhalation into the body. And let go. Rub the palms of your hands together, creating friction and warmth. And then bring your hands over your eyes, covering your face. Notice the warmth, the darkness, the vibration. Sense everything within you and around you. Just as it is. And then slowly open the eyes instead of the hands. Separate the fingers as you allow the light to filter through. And slowly let the hands fall away from the face and down to your lap. And I invite you for one moment to do absolutely nothing other than to let the world come back to focus. Mm. I hope that you have enjoyed this mellow yoga flow to feel good. Thank you so much for practicing with me, everybody. Thank you all so much. So I hope that you enjoyed this practice. If it was your first time here, I would love to hear how it felt for you, what resonated, also what didn't. I'm always open to feedback. So feel free to you know put any comments that you think that could serve the community. One of the things that I have been preaching to myself for a long time is that yeah, 60 minutes, 75 minutes of yoga sound great. Daily sounds great. Going to the studio sounds great. But I'm about what actually works for me and what I can sustain and I can carry with me no matter what. And that's always less than 30 minutes, right? Like my entire morning routine is about 45 minutes to an hour. But that includes my journaling, meditation, movement. And so to me, it's unrealistic to say I'll do an hour of yoga every day. And so I have found ways to make the movement serve me and not me be like, oh, I have to fit into this. That's why I started just to just do 30 to 45 minute sessions because I don't know about you, but does it fit better in, in your life to just make it a smaller portion? I've enjoyed being with you all so much as always. Thank you so, 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 so much for being a part of this community. And I will see you all again soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Much love, everybody. Thank you.